Hey guys, it's me Zed, and today we're gonna go over my living room setup. Now, you'll get your prices at the end of everything, and we'll add a, to a ta um, <laughs> we'll look at the total at the end of the video right here. If you wanted to go ahead and not watch this video and just wanted to know, get straight to the cheese, you can check out that card right there that'll take you to a Reddit post I made a couple weeks ago that details the entire audio system. However, there is stuff in this video that is not detailed in this post, so make sure to stick around for that. Now, I'm by no means an expert in home audio equipment or speakers or any of that. Uh, I'm doing this purely as a hobbyist, so I will probably say some things wrong and feel free to lambast me in the comments for it. Without further ado, let's get right into it. We're gonna go back to front because that's just gonna make it a little bit easier. Now these speakers that you see right oop, there and there, those are JVC SX F3000s. Now those were released in 1996 and I got the pair for $24.95 and that was from a local Christian thrift shop. Uh, they end up doing a lot of home audio equipment just because people drop them off and donate them. Now, from the same thrift shop, I got this center channel. It's a Polk CSI 30. Now, I got this for $7.95. That's right, $7.95 for a Polk center channel. It sounds really good. There's only one problem with the center channel. That is the tweeter dome is actually pressed in. However, the tweeter still moves freely and those high frequencies do end up sounding very good. If we're looking at the front left and right speakers, I actually got those for free. However, my friend who I got them from paid $40 for them. Those are the Panasonic SB237s. Now, these don't have a particularly amazing dynamic range. I don't really have much of a spec sheet for you. However, they do sound quite nice, especially when paired with Dolby Pro Logic and the magic that takes place in my receiver. Speaking of the receiver, let's take a look at that. I have the Pioneer VSX 822K. Now, from what I understand, this is a pretty decent receiver. It's got airplay and all that good jazz, and I can control it with my phone anytime I want. It's actually quite nice. And what would 5.1 be without the one? That is the subwoofer. Now I have the Pioneer SW8MK2, and the subwoofer itself is actually designed by Andrew Jones of Pioneer. And now, I didn't know what that meant at first, but I did a little bit of research, and Andrew Jones is apparently a very big figure at Pioneer who does amazing work. And I got both the receiver and the subwoofer at a combo at another thrift shop for $24.95. Now, if we take all of that into account, plus the $7 I spent on the 100 foot spool of wire and the $17 I spent on the replacement remote, which by the way is a Pioneer remote, we're looking at roughly anywhere from $85 before tax to $92 to $93 after tax, depending on tax rates. Um, some of these did actually charge me tax, some of them didn't. Now, there's a couple other things I wanted to go over mainly release dates. Now the Panasonic SB237s were actually, uh, I actually couldn't find a whole lot on them. A couple Reddit posts were about as much as I could find. Now there was a manual online that you could buy for a couple bucks, but uh, I didn't really need the manual. Um, I just needed to know when they came out just because I was curious. I actually contacted Mike's Manuals, which was the only place I could find a manual for this online. Now. Mike did mention that speakers of this age in his inventory system are typically between 1987 and 1992. However, where it was placed was closer to 87. Um, he couldn't tell me exactly when as the manual never actually had a copyright date on it, so he couldn't actually tell me. Now, I couldn't tell you how much these actually costed when they were brand new, but it's probably some mini stack from the 80s. Now my rear speakers, the JVC SX F3000s, actually came out in 1996 and was bundled with a mini stack called the JVC AX F3000. Now that whole set sold for $1,100 brand new. Um, now for all of the prices that I'm referencing for brand new, I'll leave a link to all of the archive.org pages or Wayback Machine pages because it's all down in the description. The Polk CSI 30 actually came out in 2002 and originally sold for an MSRP of somewhere in the neighborhood of $249.99. Now that's amazing considering I got it for eight bucks. The receiver I got, the VSX 822K, uh, actually released for a brand new price of $379.99 and the subwoofer actually sold brand new for $160 or $159.99. Now, for me, this is amazing because I didn't pay those prices. I paid a fraction of those. 
Now I want to go over a couple other things that I have in the setup, most namely my record player and my tape deck. The record player is the Audio-Technica ATLP120 USB. I got this on Facebook Marketplace for a grand total of $60, which is amazing for this turntable considering that it sells brand new for right around the $230 mark, I believe. I've got an Onkyo R1, I'll leave the model number, it's too much for me to remember off the top of my head or write down in a script. You, I'll put it right here. That's the deck I have. It is phenomenal and has not failed me since. One other thing that I did want to mention, and it kind of ties into it, and if you want me to go more in depth, I can. I do have a Cisco network switch that actually runs Ethernet to all of the connected devices at the entertainment center. So the receiver, my PS4, my PS3, all of that. It's all hooked up to the internet, all hardwired, and it's great. I get awesome speeds. It's great. I love it. Hi, put in, you keeping me company? So as you can see, I got a pretty good deal on everything. Now what I will say is yes, I know speaker placement needs some work. Yes, I know that 5.1s add sides and not rears, 7.1 adds the rears. Everybody was sure to lambast me on Reddit for that, it's no big deal. Um, but what I will say is that I'm a giant fan of everything and how it's set up. I love each and every component and it sounds great. I'll give you a listen here. <music> And thank you guys for stopping by my channel. Appreciate you hanging out with me for just a minute. Hopefully you can see that with a little bit of hunting at thrift stores, you can find some pretty good deals. If you'd like to see more content like this or possibly my PC and the setup I have on my desk, go ahead and drop me a like. If you liked it a little bit more than that, you can go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Or if you'd like to see other things, feel free to leave a comment and possibly share it with a friend. I do appreciate you stopping by for just a little bit and I hope to see you in the next video. See ya.